welcome to another tutorial today we will be talking about log 4j apache vulnerability log 4j is a java based login audit framework within apache and as of right now or it has been suitable to a remote code execution vulnerability for some time now that we all know about this vulnerability is where a remote attacker can leverage um, the vulnerable software and take full advantage and full control of a vulnerable machine. The module is a prerequisite for many other software which means that it can be found in many products and it is very, very trivial to be exploited. And I had a vulnerable system exposed um, in my home network externally and I found out that a lot of a lot of um, people out there were already trying to exploit the vulnerability on my server who uh, which was vulnerable for log 4j Apache vulnerability so if you have a 40 gate, it doesn't matter which version it is. Here I'm using the 30E. So any 40 gate with a valid subscription or 40 guard subscription, you can use to mitigate and block these attacks or vulnerability. For you to do this, you're going to have to have IPS turned on and we'll create a new IPS profile or you can use your existing IPS profile and just add the signature to the profile. So for this tutorial, we'll be creating a new profile. So you're going to have to go to IPS or intrusion prevention. We'll create a new profile. Okay. I'm going to delete this one here. Okay. We'll create a new profile and we'll call it G log for J Apache vulnerability and once we do that we're going to select the create option we're going to want to go over to signatures and we'll search for log 4 and we see on here that we have two signatures so we're going to go ahead and add those once we add those we'll go to select it so we have just one added we can add the second one okay once you add those two signatures if you go over to select it you see on here that the two signatures have been added and both signatures are both for servers or the targets are servers and the OS for the first one is Windows and Linux and the others is for all so we'll change the default action to block and we'll enable packet login so every time the 40 gate blocks traffic that matches the IPS signature it's going to log a PCAP file of that packet and then we can use it for further analysis later we'll leave everything else as default we'll hit the OK button and we can see that now our IPS signature has been added so we'll go ahead and do OK at this point you're done creating your IPS signature to be able to protect your server or servers against the log 4j Apache vulnerability all you need to do is go to your um, policy and edit your rule or your security policy or firewall rule and then you want to add that IPS profile that we created to whichever policy applies to the vulnerable system or vulnerable systems so that brings us to the end of this video thank you for watching and please hit the like button if you like the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to the channel if you have any questions you can always leave them down below in the comment section or send us an email thank you